Hi everyone, so we're going to start talking about the electric field and how charges are affected by the electric field. So when we're talking about the electric field, it might be a little bit hard to imagine. So I want you to think about how magnets work and just visualizing that. You're going to learn, especially later on, magnets and electricity work uh, very, are very similar and they are very much intertwined with each other. So when you think of an electric field, think of a magnetic field. All right, so let's first think about this. Look at this. In a certain region of space, a uniform electric field has a magnitude of 4.6 times 10 to the 4 Newton uh, per Coulomb and points in the positive x direction. Find the magnitude and direction of the force this field exerts on a charge of these two options. So first, I just kind of want to label the electric field. So the electric field is going this way, right? So it's going in the positive x direction. So this is the electric field here in red. And we know that the electric field, well, let's put that right here, is equal to 4.6 times 10 to the fourth Newton per Coulomb. Now we want to know if we have a positive, uh, if we have a positive charge, so to do the points, find the matching direction of this. So if we have a positive 2.8 microcoulomb charge, we want to know what direction does it go and what is the magnitude of the force that it experiences. First, we should know that positive charges go in the same direction of the electric field. So if the electric field is going to the right, we know that the force of a positive charge is also going to be going to the right. So what we're going to do, let's look at the equation. For this equation, since we have the po uh, small charge in this electric field, we're going to be using electric field is equal to the force of electricity over Q1, okay? What we know is the electric field is equal to 4.6 times 10 to the fourth. We don't know what the force of electricity is, that's what we're looking for, but we do know that this charge here is gonna be equal to 2.8 times 10 to a negative six Coulombs because this is given to us in microcoulombs. Now we're just going to be multiplying these, these two just doing simple algebra 8 times 10 to the power of negative 6 and times 4.6 times 10 to the power of 4 and we get force of electricity for the positive charge is equal to 0 0.13 newtons and we can say right or we could just leave it like that because uh, having it leaving it as a positive implies it's going to the right. Now let's look at the part B. So it says part B is negative 9.3 microcoulombs. So now we're looking at this charge here. This one is negative. And since it's negative, remember negative charges go in the opposite direction, the opposite direction of the electric field. So if the electric field is going to the right, the electric, uh, the force of a negative charge will go to the left. Okay, so let's figure this out. We know since the charge is bigger, we're gonna have a bigger force of electricity. So we're gonna be using the same uh, formula here, electric field is equal to the force of electricity over Q. Electric field is the same throughout. It says it's uniform electric field, and that is 4.6 times 10 to the fourth. And this is gonna be equal to the force of electricity divided by the magnitude of this charge, which is gonna be 9.3 times 10 to the negative six, which gives us a force of electricity, 9.3. Times 4.6 times 10 to the power of 4 of 0.43 around there. So we could call this new, uh, call, we could say it's going to the left, or we could leave this as negative, implying that it's going to the left. Okay? And that's our first problem. All right, so let's look at our next problem here, example number eight. So a positive 5 microcoulomb charge experiences a 0 0.2 force in the positive y direction. What direction is the electric field? Okay, so let's look at this. So we have a positive five microcoulomb charge. And we see that it experiences a force of electricity that goes in the positive y direction that is up to 0 0.2 newtons. So what we should know is, it says what direction is the electric field? Remember, the force of a positive charge goes in the same direction of which way the electric field is going. So if the force is going up, that means the electric field must also be going up. 
Okay, so electric field must also be going up because it has to go in the same direction as the force of electricity of a positive charge. So what we know is this one is gonna be positive Y. Okay. Now it says, if the charge is replaced with a negative 2.7 microcoulomb charge, what force will it experience? Okay, so again, what we have is we have the same electric field like this. However, what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace this charge and we're gonna have another charge. So it's gonna be a bit smaller. It's gonna be negative 2.7 microcoulombs. And we wanna know what is the force that this negative charge experiences. Okay, uh, a little bit tricky here. What we're gonna have to first do is we're gonna have to first figure out what this electric field is. How strong is this electric field? And so I want you to think about this. How are we gonna do this? And what you should notice is over here we have two pieces of information while over here we only have one piece of information. So I'm gonna use this part of the problem here to find what the electric field is. So I'm gonna use the equation Electric field is equal to the force of electricity over Q. We know the electric, we're looking for the electric field. We know the force of electricity is 0 0.2 and the uh, charge th uh, that experiences this force is gonna be five times 10 to the negative six Coulomb. Uh, electric field is equal to 0.2 divided by five times 10 to the negative six. So we get uh, 40,000 Newton per Coulomb. 40,000. Mm -mm -mm. oh, sorry, 40,000 Newton per Coulomb. Okay. So now we know since they're in the same electric field, this one over here is also 40,000 Newton per Coulomb. Now what we're gonna do is, okay, now that we know that, and we, we know the electric field, and we know the charge, let's find what the force of electricity is. So electric force is equal to four, Fe over Q. We know that the electric field is 40,000. The force of electricity is what we're looking for, and the charge is 2.7 times 10 to the negative six. So now we can find that the force of electricity uh, is gonna be 40, one, two, three, times 2.7 times 10 to the power of negative six. So we know that this is gonna be equal to 0 0.108 Newtons. So that's what it's gonna be the force of electricity. And it says, what direction will the negative 2.7 microcoulomb charge move? Yeah, what direction? So what we should know is a negative charge will go in the opposite direction of the electric field. So if the electric field is going up, a negative charge will go in the opposite direction going down. So for technically for this, we should ha either have it as negative or we should just say 0 0.108 Newtons downwards, okay? All right, gonna move on to the next problem. Boom, boom, boom. All right, last one for this video. All right, so let's look at this. An object with a charge of negative 3.6 microcoulombs and a mass of 0 0.012 kilograms experiences an upward electric force due to an electric field. This force is equal magnitude to its weight. Find the direction and magnitude of the electric field. Okay, so we wanna draw this out again. So we have a charge. We're gonna have this charge here. So we have this negative charge. And we have, this has a charge of negative 3.6 times 10 to the negative six coulombs, but it also has a mass of 0 0.012 kilograms, okay? What we know is, okay, so the force, experience an upward force, the force is equal magnitude to its weight. So we know the force of electricity is equal to its weight. Uh, find the direction and magnitude of the electric force. So we know experience an upward electric force. So we know the force of electricity is going upwards. And we know that the force of gravity is gonna be going downwards. So the weight is the same thing as the force of gravity. What we, should, what we know is the force of gravity is equal to the force of electricity. 
force of gravity is going to be easy. It's just going to be mass times gravity, which is going to be equal to 0.12 newtons. So we should also know that this is going to be equal to 0.12 newtons. Okay. But now that we found what the force of electricity is, we want to find the direction and magnitude of the electric field. So there's going to be an electric field uh, through this. That's why that's how it experiences the force of electricity. And but which way is this force of elect uh, which way is this electric field going? What we should think about is this force of electricity is going up. And if this force of electricity is going up and this is a negative charge, that means the electric field should be going in the exact opposite direction. So that means it should be going down because the force of electricity of a negative charge goes in the opposite direction of the electric field. So now let's try to figure out what this electric field is going to be equal to. We know this electric field is going to be equal to uh, the force of electricity over charge. Okay. So electric field is equal to the force of electricity, which is 0 0.12 over the charge of this, which is 3.6 times 10 to the negative six, which is going to give us an answer of 0.12 divided by 3.6 times 10 to the negative six. Uh, large number, 33,333.33, repeating. Newton per coulomb, okay? And so we could put this as negative because it's going down or we could just say down. Okay, all right, so that's electric fields. Hope you guys enjoyed that.